amazing grace, how sweet the sound, that saved a wretch like me. He said the author of the hymn was by his own admission, a wretch in his life. He was nothing but a slave trader, a blasphemer, a rebel, an immoral man, a torturer, and as by far from grace as anyone could ever be. As a boy, John Newton was captivated by the adventure and risk of life on the high seas. When he was 11 years old, young John Newton launched into that exciting life of voyaging, sailing and living his dream. But his dream turned out to be a nightmare. Later in his life he wrote, I sinned with a high hand and I made it my study to tempt and seduce others. Isaac Newton lived a hard life with hard consequences. But God got his attention. In the year 1748, Isaac Newton's slave ship was nearly wrecked by an intense storm. In the tempest, surrounded by crashing waves, cutting wind, cracking timbers, and the cries of onboard slaves, Isaac Newton fell on his knees and pleaded for mercy and for grace. God's grace, which reaches anyone, anywhere, saved a wretch like Isaac Newton. Isaac Newton wrote a song years later while serving as a pastor in England. Now, during the America's Second Great Awakening, the song was paired with its familiar tune and widely used in camp meetings and revival service. Today, it lyrics still inspires, encourages, and instructs people about the radical reality of God's amazing grace. Maybe your life is just like that of Isaac Newton. Maybe you see yourself as a wretch. Maybe the things you have decided to do has only led you into one trouble to another. If God could reach Isaac Newton with his grace, he can reach you as well. So come to him and accept the amazing grace. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. Father Divine, we thank you for your grace. Grace so amazing. Grace that reaches even the dark place of our lives. You can see through us. Please, wash us and fill us with the power of the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
In the mighty name of Jesus have we prayed. Amen and amen.